the chief design criteria was that we wanted to create an experience that was as close to a native experience as possible. So by native, I mean you should be able to use it in a way that's familiar to you. Good design doesn't need a manual. Good design feels like it belongs on the platform that it's on. We've designed it using existing conventions, so you should be able to pick it up for the first time and use it without question. So if you're using an Apple iPhone, it worked like an Apple iPhone. Or if you're using an Android device, it works like the Android device. Well, we're always guided in our selection of platforms by where the audience is. We focused for the time being on the iPhone, iPod Touch and Android devices. But we are not going to stop there. Our plan is also invest on the iPad. We have to take advantage of the bigger screen, the faster processor, and we would also like to create a mobile web version that would work for other devices. We've re-architected streams in a way that is highly usable, beautiful and intuitive. It's really important for us that there's a very shallow or even a non-existent learning curve. We shouldn't need to design tooltips all over the interface. We want to make the product really an extension of the operating system. My motto is design an interface that's clear, not one that's clever. We believe that MyTap2 should be free because we want the application to be available to the widest audience possible. We want it to be a democratic product. We don't believe that customers should pay the price of the application because we have other ways to monetize it.